Oh, we know he. Come on. Hey guys, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And I have been like a kid all morning as I've been filming because I have been waiting for Lone Star to come in the mail. And um, I knew she was out for delivery. And I like in between every scene, set, whatever, I would go run upstairs <laughs> to see if the mail had come yet. So I got her, yay, so I can film her today. So Lone Star is the last in my collection of the LOL Surprise OMG Remix. Now this Remix collection is a huge collection of, uh, it's just like a whole immersive world. There's music video, there's an album, there's a plane, there's um, there's there's the hair flip dolls, and then they, they the turns into a boom box, and there's and little records, and then there's the, the, the super surprise that looks like a boom box, which I opened live. Um, it's just, it's just a whole world and it's just really, really cool. And uh, if you are following along, there's sort of this, um, each, each doll has a piece of the puzzle, so to speak, in terms of the lyrics to the songs and that kind of stuff. And they each have a piece of the song that they play. Um, why would you put a label? Why would you put a label on the box? the boxes. So these are about $36.99. Um, these are definitely, definitely a hot gift for this year. And get them while you can because the, you know, what I know from talking both to retailers and to, um, to brand reps is that, um, you know, supply chain was disrupted earlier in the year for obvious reasons. And so, you know, we don't have as many of things as we would normally have. And in general, the OMG dolls sell out really, really quickly. So, and now we've got kind of this situation with the uh, potential short, you know, uh, less less inventory because of the pandemic. So what I'm trying to say to you is it's October now that I'm filming this. Do not wait until December to try to buy Christmas presents and Hanukkah presents for your kids um, and think that you're going to get them all four remix dolls or you're going to get them the plane or you're going to be able to get them the boom box because there's no guarantee that they're still going to be available. Um, and so, you know, just, just do it now. Um, I've got links down below to my Amazon storefront, um, that has all of the remix stuff in it. If you do use, uh, that link, I do get a tiny commission. Thank you so much, which enables me to buy more dolls. So let me show you. And then of course, collectors, you already know all about these. You already know. Um, and, uh, you know that I opened Honeylicious and I was like a little bit like, wah, wah. so I'm hoping that I'm going to love Lone Star and her extra outfit. Uh, so one of the things is, is they, they're BFFs, just to explain parents. So if you're gonna only get two of them, get the two that go together. So these two, Jukebox BB and Kitty K are BFFs. And what that means is that each one of them has an outfit for the other. So inside Jukebox BB's box is an outfit that goes on Kitty K. And inside Kitty K's box is an outfit that goes on Jukebox BB. Same thing between Honeylicious and Lone Star. So when I opened Honeylicious, this was in there, and I'm guessing that goes with Lone Star. And then um, we will see what Lone Star has in her uh, box for Honeylicious. So it's kind of a way to make you buy at least two dolls. MGA is not dumb. Um, so, and also this packaging, all of the packaging is part of the experience. So don't like be ripping the cardboard and um, make sure your kid knows like, wait, slow down. Let's follow the instructions about how you open this. Okay. So you can see it has, <laughs> it has an arrow here. Like, okay, pull this out. So I'm going to pull this out and dun, dun, dun. and do not get rid of this because this right here, this vinyl comes out of here. This final record comes out of here and it comes into play later on in our story. So this is really cool. So she's got like a pink thing with, and they all sort of have the same uh, stuff here, just in different colors. And then we open it up 
And so we get some information about Lone Star. So she obviously um, reflects country music, which is awesome. Um, I think a lot of times country music gets left out in the in the doll world. Like, I don't know if people think country isn't cool because country is cool and there's so much country music and there's so many people who love country music. So all of these dolls have uh, in some way referred back to, she says, giddy up. What does that say? Bling, oh, I thought I said blong. I thought I said blong, B-L-O-N-G on my spurs. I was like, what the heck is blong? Uh, giddy up, bling on my spurs, strumming on my guitar. All right, it's a little cringy, but you know. And then over here, this is actually where we're gonna put that, um, that vinyl thing, and we are gonna play Lone Star's piece of the song. So up over here, underneath there are our two surprise packages that are in the outside of the box. So one is a shoe box, and the other one over here is like a round hat box, and I can never easily get it out of the packaging. I'm glad this is the last one I'm doing, because I always have to like wrestle with it. It never just, it never just comes out for me. This is done working out for me. Um, I like the colors. I like this blue on hers and kind of like the whole, you know, very dedicated to the, to the country and Western theme here. Uh, so we're gonna keep that for a moment uh, because uh, there's a doll in there. So inside these two are surprises. So these are part of her fashions. So inside here, and be really careful, these are wrapped in paper and often there are very tiny things inside the paper and I have lost the tiny things. So don't do that. Oh, oh, I already love her earrings, okay. So she comes with these pink glasses. It's hard to see the studs. They kind of have studs on them. I really wish they had taken a moment to do some detailing on those and made those studs like silver or gold. Silver, I guess, because it looks like silver is her, uh, her color. And these are her earrings. These are so cool because if you put them together. So this is her earrings. Very cool, very cool. I love, I love, and you notice um, her paper, her, her like her accent color is turquoise. And of course silver and turquoise is a very Southwestern kind of thing. So that's cool. So let me put these to the side so I don't lose them because I'm famous for losing stuff. And close that back up. And then inside, so now there's a shoe box. So there's a really great video by Claudina Nine that goes into all of the Easter eggs, deep lore and, um, just some really cool information and observations about the whole remix doll line. And it's really, really interesting. And I will um, try to link it by info card. I'll put it, just put the link in the description. And I'll also try to remember to put it in the end card if you make it all the way through this video, which God bless you if you make it all the way through this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, please let me know down below in the comments. Oh my God, her boots. Oh, 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 I'm in love. They're silver, but they have a little tiny bit of turquoise and then they've got, ooh, spin around. Hands, come on, work. And then they've got spurs. I love, I love the turquoise. Is the, the oh, 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 oh. I love silver and turquoise, love silver and turquoise. I used to own, I mean, I have, I still have it, but I used to wear a lot of silver and turquoise jewelry, which I don't really anymore. Um, and I don't know why. I just don't wear jewelry anymore. You remember I used to wear all the bracelets? I just kind of like, I don't know. I just kind of stopped. Okay, I just wanted to show, I put the boots on her because this outfit, her, this is like, sort of like her underwear kind of. It's so cute. And I put the boots on her already because I was like, oh, with the boots, like, like this is so cute. And I thought to myself, it's like, it's like, she's like, she's like a saucy, um, uh, what was her name from Toy Story? It's not Wendy. What the heck is the girl's name? It just went out of my head. But the girl from Toy Story. Jessie. She's like a saucy Jessie from Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse grows up on the next episode. Um, so here she is. Super, super cute. Now they all pretty much have the same face um, with slightly different makeup, big finger in her face, slightly different makeup. She's got a little like, I guess that's a little beauty mark. And she's got some light pink lip. These are twists, not braids. And be careful because they are held into the plastic 
um, by uh, rubber bands. And it, unfortunately, the rubber bands are right where the rubber bands that hold the twists together are. So be very careful when you're cutting collectors and parents so that you don't accidentally cut the thing that's holding all this together and then you have to deal with that and the crying that will ensue, whether you're a parent or a collector who accidentally cuts it. Um, she's super cute. Her nails, I love her nails. Just a very pale pink nail, which is totally, look at that, I, there's my nasty scar. Like, why did I use this hand? I don't know. Um, just a really pale pink, which goes so nicely with her outfit. I can't wait to see the rest of her outfit. I really can't wait to see the rest of her outfit because I think just this is adorable. Like she could totally be waiting bar in a, in, in waiting bar, waiting bar. Girl, what are you talking about? I don't, oop, look at that. My stupidity knocked her over. Uh, <laughs> you were blown away by my stupidity. Girl, you so dumb. Um, and uh, these dolls are very articulated in their arms uh, and shoulders and hands, but not so much in the knees. Uh, but that's okay. It's okay. We can deal with it. But they are very poseable in the arms, which is nice. So this is the outfit that I believe goes with Honeylicious. No, it's not. I'm totally wrong. She comes with a guitar. I did not know this. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's awesome. And it's a glittery guitar. <gasps> Oh my, oh wow. I did not know that. All right. See, I try not to watch other reviews before I do my reviews so that my reactions can be uh, genuine and somewhat unbiased. Um, although sometimes I do catch some other videos, but I, I didn't, I don't remember. I don't think Claudina talked about uh, Lone Star. If he did, I wasn't paying attention to that part. <laughs> Sorry, Claudina. Um, okay, and then this is our first fashion. I love these little bags, all these little fashion bags. And I love the hangers. Now I saw a leaked picture of something called, like it was like the LOL OMG fashion closet. And so it was like, oh my God, this is so cute. <gasps> It's a fringed white leather jacket, but it's got a little bit of sparkle to it. I mean, that's so country. Did any of you guys used to watch Nashville? I loved Nashville until um, What's Her Name left. Uh, basically the star who played Raina James. Um, but, oh my God, the show was so good. The show was so good. And here's our next outfit. So, all right, I'm still trying to figure out what piece goes with with the uh, Honeylicious here. It's not the guitar. Well, it's gotta be this last piece here. Okay. Cause these are definitely hers. <laughs> Those are cute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look at the heart buckle. Oh. Okay, so this has to be the piece that goes to Honeylicious. I had a really hard time figuring out the, the piece between, that went with, um, with Kitty K. Like, I just couldn't make sense of that. Okay, so I guess this goes on Honeylicious. We'll have to try that out. That's very different, and I don't understand how that goes with her shoes. I'm stumped. But we'll figure that out in a second. All right, I am going to dress her up, and I will dress up Honeylicious in this, and uh, then we'll take a look. Okay, I've got her all the way dressed up here. Guitar and everything. And I think it is a bit of overkill, but I'm just putting it together and then we will deal with the overkill. So this is, uh, I just think it's so cute that she comes with the little sparkly guitar. Like that just really, really like rocks it for me. So here she, this is what she looks like with the guitar. And then I'll take the guitar off so that um, you can get the outfit. So you can experience the outfit. There we go. So this is the outfit. If you put, if you take the fringy sparkly jacket and you put it over the, you know, clothes she was wearing in the box, if you put it over that uh, crop top shirt thingy, I need to be able to see what I'm doing, sorry. Um, 
And I think it's very busy like that. So I think that this jacket would look better maybe over this. So we're gonna try that, we're gonna try that. Um, and then here's the pants, which are really stinking cool. Look at the glitter and then, you know, these cool shapes. And look, she's even got pockets and you could stick something in her pocket. It's very cool, very, very cool. And then she's got the belt buckle and the boots. The only thing that isn't working for me is the turquoise on the boots when she's all dressed in lavender. Um, and I was, I was thinking to myself, so I'm gonna take off the jacket so we can see what this looks like, looks like without the jacket. So I was thinking to myself as I was dressing her that it would be really cool if instead of lavender, this outfit was turquoise based. And then I, you know, I looked at her auburn hair and I thought maybe somebody, you know, did draw that design, but she looked too much like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz if you did that. So that was my thinking about why they didn't do that. I would have been there for it because I love Dorothy and I love The Wizard of Oz. So, um, but maybe that was just too much. So they went with lavender and I don't mind the lavender. I don't, but then I think that her little spur thingies should have been lavender. So this is what she looks like in the outfit without the jacket. I think this is much better, right? This is much better. The thing that's making me crazy about this outfit is this collar. Like I thought this was like a piece of paper that I was supposed to rip off or something. So it's got this collar and it's not, I can't get it to line up and stay straight. So it, it, it keeps twisting and looking crooked and it's, it's, it's bothering me. But I get it, like I get it, I get, I get it's all part of the look. I get that, I love these little things. Um, I love the little knot right here. And there's the belt buckle. Gotta have a big belt buckle when you're down south. And here's the back again. Like I said, I just wish that it didn't have. And then if we get the hat off, there we go. So there she is without the hat. Her hair is a beautiful auburn color. This is a stunning hair color. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Now, I did dress uh, Honeylicious in that sarong thing, um, and I it definitely doesn't go with the sneakers. So uh, she's barefoot. I took off all her jewelry and stuff. So here she is in the sarong. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't understand why that's her other outfit. And I'm sure, again, it's because I'm missing an important piece of information about a Beyonce video or something, or something. So clue me in, okay? Because I feel stupid, because I'm like, what the heck is she wearing this? What is this, what is this about? Um, but it's very pretty. It's actually very pretty. So, and she looks very comfortable. And, and it makes me want to put on a sarong and lay down, but I'm making videos. So um, now, and so this is the jacket. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch her into this, her alternate outfit, because I really wanna see this with this. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, I think we will agree, maybe we won't, but I think the jacket looks much better with the denim outfit. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. I think it's way less overkill um, when you do it this way. I think it was just too much with all the stuff that was going on with the lavender gingham and the thing and the collar and twisty tie and all that stuff. I think this is really cool. Um, I love her. So even her album is turquoise, but her outfit is lavender. Um, and then if you remember the inside of here, I said was a record player. So you're gonna pull the little battery tab out we are going to line up the record with this little plastic piece right here. Trying to do that without my glasses is ridiculous, but you know, I like to live dangerously sometimes. <laughs> there we go. And then once you've done that, so it's like that. It's like <laughs> once you've done that and then you try to show everybody and it falls off, then you, Spin it right round, baby. Right round like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. And eventually, it plays music. 
eventually. It's gonna play her song. Come on, work with me! I took the battery thing out. What is going on? Oh no, my Lone Star isn't playing her song. Oh no! Oh we know we. Come on. I pulled out the battery thing. Hmm. Oh wait, wait, do I have a flathead screwdriver? I have a flathead screwdriver. Let's see. Eh. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle that. Let's see what happens. Nope. Not gonna happen. Aw oh, man. Well, pretend that you heard a song. Okay. <laughs> Pretend that you heard a great song by, where'd she go? Here she is. Pretend that you heard a great song from Lone Star and we all were like, oh my God, that's so cool. So thank you guys so much for watching and putting up with me because I am hashtag so profesh and I will see you again real soon. Love you, bye.